A Lonely Ride by Wandering Starlight Studios. My name is... Jane. I'm not sure where I am. It feels like I've just woken from a long nap. I'm in a boat though, so that's a start, I suppose. There's a pretty woman sitting across from me. She looks familiar, but everything is still so hazy in my mind, I can't seem to place her. Oh, you've come too. Don't worry, you're safe. Who... who are you? My name is Yuri. That... that name... It feels familiar somehow. It's a fairly common name. It's... it's... it's pretty. Thank you. That's very sweet. Yuri, can you tell me where I am? Right now, we're traversing a liminal space. Like the back rooms or something. Not quite. You've died, and I'm taking you to the other side. Wait, what? No, I... Hmm. I'm sorry, but neither of us have a choice in this matter. Can't you just turn the boat around? I cannot. What are you, anyway? Metaphorically, I'm a cog in the natural order. Literally, though, I'm what you would call a Grim Reaper. Did you kill me? No. So, how'd I die? There was an accident. Oh, God. <sighs> I'm starting to remember. I was out with my friend. I was on the ladder. Wait. Is... is my friend okay? Physically, yes. Poor Zack. He's such a softy. He's going to be a wreck. How interesting. You focus on him even though you're the one on my boat. I'm already dead, so there's no sense of worrying about myself, right? How pragmatic of you. There's only one so much I can control. That is true. Do you know what's on the other side? Am I going to hell? I don't know. I cannot set foot on the other side. Why not? My job is to guide souls to the other side and to keep records of human life. But why can't you cross over? My being a reaper is a punishment from the judges. Why does she look so sad? Wait, Yuri, why do you look so sad? The plight of being a reaper is to watch our loved ones pass on without us. We can't follow them. We can never join them. It's lonely. Wait, I know why she's so familiar. Yuri, why, why is it you? I was assigned to your case. Why are you the one taking me away? Because I asked to be assigned to you. Why? I wanted to make sure you arrived safely. I wanted to make sure you weren't afraid to go on. Why do you have to do any of this at all? You'd never hurt anyone. This is the price I have to pay for taking someone else's life. Wait, you... I should be dead, you know. I was murdered. And in my fury, I cursed the person who killed me with my dying breath. It seems like such a natural thing. Wishing death upon someone who killed you, right? Yeah. Well, 
someone was listening that night. My wish came true. In excess, the person who killed me died. The people around them died as well. Everyone was swallowed by a bright, bright swirling miasma of color. That was the form my wish took. How, how is that your fault? Curses come home to roost. In exchange for wishing for their death, I am now bound to this for eternity. But it means I can guide you. It means that I can say goodbye. No, I'm not ready. We're already here, though. She's right. Yuri helps me up, but she doesn't leave her boat. She really can't touch the other side. Before I go, she gently touches my cheek and says goodbye to me for one final time. There's a pang in my chest as she begins her lonely ride back. Be well, Jean. Zack and I won't forget you. A Lonely Ride by Wandering Starlight Studio Hello friends, thanks for watching that video, and if you like my voice acting, you can support me by subscribing. Alright, that's it. Bye, senpai!